Hi there, Jessica here for My Transgender Nation. Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about friends and family that I've lost due to my transition. So um, I would have to say I'm probably the luckiest person on the planet in, in my transgender world. Um, I, I, it's been few and far between family and friends that I have lost. Um, I have friends that I have known since I was knee-high to a grasshopper that I'm still friends with after transition. Thank God for that. That is so cool. But there are those members of my, my family and, and my group of friends that just have chosen. You know, I guess the best way to describe it is that they've just chosen not to communicate with me anymore. And I find that so sad. I don't understand why they do that. But um, it has happened. Um, I have, um, I have one friend in particular, I've known him since I was probably, oh, 15 years old. And when I first transitioned, he came out a couple of times when a group of our friends got together. And then, um, all of a sudden he just stopped communicating, wouldn't respond to, Emails wouldn't respond to text messages, doesn't show up at any of our events anymore, just just completely disappeared. No explanation why, just not there anymore. Kind of sad. I don't understand. And I can say the same thing about several other friends, and it's pretty much the same scenario. You know, they just they just sort of faded into the background. And I have some family members, not immediate. You know, I have two daughters, and they're both communicating with me. Yeah. Uh, my parents have been deceased most of my adult life, so you know they're not part of the equation. Um, but beyond that, other family members, I, I, you know, I, I still communicate with them, but it's rarely now. It, I mean, it's you know, they, they used to invite me to things on a regular basis. They, they used to be. A lot more in touch. Now it's almost like, you know, on a holiday when they have to. <laughs> it's about the only time when I hear from them, and that's it. And and that's their choice. And you know, if that's what they want to do, God bless them. I'm I'm just gonna continue to move my life <clears throat> forward and and just keep going. So, um, you know, like again, as I started. I, I've been really, really lucky with this. Most of my my friend base is right there with me. As a matter of fact, some of them, you know, I I would have to say they're rather conservative, but they are my biggest advocates, which I just find so amazing. And uh, <laughs> if they're in my company and somebody uh, is uh, being derogatory, they'll be the first to stand up to my defense. It's kind of cool. Love it. <laughs> Uh, so thank God for family and friends that are there for you. And <clears throat> on this note, I think I what I'd like to say, and I'm, this is going to be a quickie today. We're not going to spend a lot of time here. But don't be afraid to transition because you're worried about what others are going to think. You have to remember that this transition is for you and for nobody else. And yes, you want to be, you know, aware of everybody else, but... You know, if you don't take care of yourself first, there's no way you can help others. It's super, super important to take care of yourself first. So don't be afraid of going down this path because you're worried about what the others are going to think. This is my opinion. To hell with them. Take care of you. The rest will figure itself out. All right, enough said on this subject. I hope this helps one or all of you. Uh, I always enjoy doing this. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some suggestions, let us know. We'll do our best to accommodate. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.